Hey friends, and today I'm in my greenhouse, as you can see, door, you know, I got scissors with me. Um, I got a bunch of plants that have just leaves on them that look like this and stuff from the cold weather. So today I want to clean that stuff up. So before we start, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment down below. Best part of my two channels, Game After Dark, Blah, they will link down below, and yeah, let's do this. So the first plant I want to trim is my philodendron brazil it is struggling a little bit as you can see here let me grab the tripod and try to show you it has very few actual leaves on it there's a couple weeds in there growing there's um dead dead stems on it i mean vines from the cold so i'm just gonna cut those off those are rotting so that's why i'm cutting them off there's one to uh, grab the weed out of the pot, the other weed from the pot, cut this vine here. Let's give them a little, you know, extra help here. Push them around here. Now, as you can see, these plants, this vine right here is not fully dead, so I'm not cutting it off. It has life to it. If we can get a close up of that real quick. Right here. You can see it's growing new leaves. So now onto the next plant, which is move to fill it in Brazil. Grab this. This is a wandering Jew. These problems are from the cold, like every other plant in this greenhouse. I'm chopping this one, this part off because it's done for. Cutting that off. This. Anything I don't like the way it looks, pretty much. Cut that off. That leaf just came off. Do that. We're just going to do this same process here for many of these plants in this greenhouse. So, very, very, very simple. Here we go. There's some in the pot. Now we have a nice clean slate here. If I could move this big old philodendron leaf, that would be amazing, but I can't. So, here it is finished product of that grooming. Put that there, fill it under Brazil back there. Now let's grab this vine, this ivy here. It doesn't have any problems, so there's nothing I need to cut off of it. So we're just gonna set that back there. Right here, these syngoniums obviously have problems. Um, trying to make sure I have good angles for you guys. There's a dead leaf here, so I'm just gonna chop that off. Maybe actually pull it off actually, because it came off. Now we're gonna try to Cut this off. Boom. Boom. Cut this off. There we go. Grab that. Perfect. Um, actually, there's another dead leaf. So they're not perfect. There we go. Um, these spider plants are looking okay besides that they're like uh, wrinkled a little bit from the cold. Now let's go all the way down here. So right here, we have some pretty sad plants here. Um, uh, we have an elephant ear here. Uh, has no limb on the other end of it, so I'm just going to cut that off because I know since this is an elephant ear, it's never going to grow back. So let's go, gonna go ahead and take that off. Um, move this closer real quick. Trying to film in the greenhouse is a struggle. It's very hot in here. There's another stem the same way, another stem there, another stem here. Pull that off. We're just trying to make these plants look better. Cut, um, if we look at this syngonium, uh, hang on. Technical difficulties. All right, let me fix my tripod. So we are right here at this syngonium. I have to clean it up a little bit. I'm getting really hot in this greenhouse. There's another leaf here that's needing to be cut off. Another leaf there, leaf here. Leaf here, leaf there. Also guys, go check out the video of me putting this plant on a stake. I'll try to put that up on the screen for you. If not, I'll try to put the link. And yeah, so this snake plant right here, uh, it's just looking pretty sad. I'm gonna move this out of your guys' way real quick. Looking pretty sad. Um, there's a bunch more plants in its way, 
Okay, now y'all can see it okay. My knee's killing me. Ah, there's another leaf in the camera. Okay, there we go. I told y'all they're hard to film in this greenhouse. Um, it has some unfortunate events that we're gonna cut off. I had to put a zip tie on this bad boy because the leaves were separating from where they needed to be. And I actually think I may need to decompose of this plant because it's rotted. See how that leaf just fell off by itself? Cut that one off. So now it's bare, but if we look right here closely, it has a baby coming in, so that's gonna be fine. Snake plants do that. Just, they die and come back to, <sighs> die and come back to life all the time. And yeah, so let me do something on the top shelf before my back falls off, so. All right guys, so this is my second wandering Jew here. Has a bunch of crunchy leaves on it, just like the other one. I'm gonna try to pick it up as much as I can. Some of these plants look poor from wind and stuff coming through. They flipped them over so that doesn't help them. Um, other stuff such as uh, not getting watered enough. I, I have so many plants in here that honestly, I don't water them enough. Um, so just being honest, they kind of get a little abandoned, but you know, that's all right. Um, we'll go over here to the other part of this shelf here. Let me go to here. So ignore the geese in the background. They're getting hyped up. Um, I don't know. And yes, yeah, so I hang on. So right here, this cactus has a dead leaf here. Very long. So I'm going to cut that off because we don't like dead leaf on our plants, do we? Unless you're just that type of person who I don't like. Where you leave your dead leaves on your plants for them to naturally fall off. Yeah, I don't like that. So, uh, I don't like you. Not different. We like people here and we don't like people here. So, um, now this cactus looks nice. It has, look at that long leaf down there. I'm having to tilt this tripod up and down. And it's very hard to do so. So, just bear with me. Um, I'm trying to find plants with dead leaves and dead tips and stuff um right here let's go to these amaryllis on the shelf so these are my beautiful amaryllis this one has past bloomed it's growing leaves now let me move the tripod right there growing leaves but its blooms unfortunately have passed away that is the unfortunate time with amaryllis I'm going to cut that off. That stem, I'll just let it die, and then I'll cut it off once it starts dying. There's some more, 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 more dead-ish blooms right here. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, Lord, the tripod. The dirt is making it fall. Okay. Mm, my angles are just... Okay, so right here, I'm trying to get this tripod to stay. Okay. Now that it's up, there's this leaf right here, dead flower so i'm gonna cut that off because we don't like dead flowers boom there's beautiful ones right here this one's dead so i'm gonna boom boom bow cut that off a little bit of dead leafing right here amaryllis this is very common for them i'm gonna cut this part off right here boom boom very very nice Let's go down here to this uh, bird of paradise. So right here, obviously ignore the mess. Those are pots that I have to pick up that fell from wind and everything else. So this bird of paradise has some dead leaf parts. Dead parts of leaf right there. I'm going to cut that off. Now on to the next plants that need some assistance in this greenhouse. I have this yellow dot crow in right here. Um, has a bunch of dead leaves on it from cold and definitely not underwatering because it is packed of moisture up in here. I cut these leaves are literally so far gone and crunchy that I can just run my hand through the plant and they will crunch off. I'm uploading a video on the loud aviary today. Go check that out. This video may be up on the 14th of March and maybe up on the 15th of March. Depends on what time it is and all that stuff. I don't like uploading my videos too late. So I don't upload them late. 
This is a croton. It is not now. Well, it may not be dead, but it has no more leaves. The leaves like fell off from cold and stuff. There's just some little tiny weeds here growing in the pot from this cocoa fiber. My most favorite potting soil ever to be not. Um, we're also not going to talk about the fact that there is a cat on the top of my greenhouse. We're just not going to talk about that. He's just going to sleep up there. Okay, so now that that's groomed, um, peace lilies, peace lilies, peace lilies. This bad boy, I cut him off. There we go. Cut him off. Him off. I don't know why I'm leaving these leaves. He's, I don't know what they are. Move those two grab this one boom boom perfect place that one back where it was um these other peace lilies here aren't doing too bad actually so i don't believe there's anything i need to cut off of them obviously this mum will come back every single year these blooms are dead so i can just flick them like that and then they'll just fall off um, everybody else back here on this part seems to be doing good. This big old philodendron, as always, is huge. Um, if we go down here, though, Mother of a Thou, I mean, um, uh, Monstera Deliciosa here. Um, I'm adjusting my tripod, so don't mind me. The fact that y'all fell. Alright, um, right here. Um... Right here, there's a dead monstera leaf. I don't know how well you can see it on camera. Here it is. I'm just gonna... It's, like, rotted for some reason. Boom. Um, I don't know if that's a root right there. Um, that thing right there. I don't know if that's a root. Or if that's a new starting on this plant. So, yeah. So, that is going to conclude today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video um, as I have stayed in this greenhouse burning up at an 85 degree weather in this greenhouse because it is 95,000 degrees in Florida right now, not. Um, hit that subscribe button, you know the drill. Um, would really appreciate it if you liked this video. Love reading comments, so do that. Um, also, would really appreciate it if you go, go check the links down below to my other two channels. And the next video, stay tuned for the next video probably, maybe tomorrow's video, the 15th or the 16th for the video, whatever, um, probably gonna be, uh, probably gonna be potting some car seeds depending on the weather, so yeah.